Hello, boys. You did say you wanted to see the one in charge. Rowena, we thought you were dead. Oh, I am, dear. Pretty much everyone here is. When I closed the fissure, it did cost me my life, and my soul went to hell. Big surprise. And the demons just handed you the throne? No one hands you anything, darling. I took it. So, why are you here? Chuck. He's back and he's out of control. We need to rein him in. You want to rein in God? I think there's a way. Listen, we just need to speak to Michael. Michael, the out-of-his-head archangel. <laughs> this just gets better. <sighs> well, anyway, it doesn't matter. What? He won't be in the cage. Every door here was flung white when Chuck opened the fissure. Your archangel could be anywhere in hell, or out of hell, for that matter. Bro, we know we're running out of time, okay? We need Michael yesterday. Did you not hear the man? Find him! Hi guys, welcome to a new video. So. Tonight's episode had a lot of things going on in it, a lot of story threads, a lot of characters coming back, the biggest of which is Adam slash Michael of course, but then we had other hidden characters we didn't know were coming back, first of all a smaller cameo, we had Donatello come back to help the boys beat God, but then we had a bigger character come back, in this case Rowena came back as Queen of Hell, talk about like son, like mother. Unfortunately, I didn't want him to bring her back, not just because I'm not the biggest fan of her, I really was never a big fan of her, but the fact that she had a great death and I didn't want him to cheapen her death. She had a wonderful death just a few episodes ago, like literally four, three, four episodes ago, and now they bring her back as Queen of Hell. She took over Hell by force, whatever. They all fear her, they all respect her. She has a new look now as Queen of Hell. So yeah, I really didn't want it to happen. It's not like I never expected it to happen, but I really was hoping that since this final season, any death that happens would stick. The only death that usually should be reversed is just Sam and Dean. Everyone else should stay dead. Sam and Dean are the core, but literally they bring catch bags. They brought Rowena back a few times. This is like the third or fourth time she comes back. Crazy, everyone comes back. Eileen, hell, even Eileen came back and now she's all like in a relationship with Sam and everything. So yeah, Rowena is back, I don't know, I'm sure fans of Rowena out there are very excited and are happy for that. Honestly, I'm not, because they just cheapen her death just like they do with everyone else. They just keep bringing everyone back, there's no stopping, even in the final season. There's no real meaning to any death on the show. We already know that by the boys, but everyone else, side characters, minor characters, you bring everyone back. So yeah, not big fan of that, and uh, Rowena didn't have a lot of screen time in this episode, she just like, she helped the boys, you know, she told him, well, she didn't really help him, she just told him that Michael is not here, he's outside now, but yeah, it was like a, you know, minor cameo, if you will, he had like a decent screen time, not a lot, and uh, yeah, it was a little awkward, Sam talking to her, he's like, oh, Rowena, you know, sorry I killed you, but she's like, oh, that's the best thing you ever did, Sam, now I'm happy, queen of hell, I miss life, you know, real life on earth. But now I'm queen and, you know, I have, hell has its perks, pretty much. It's like, just like pretty much Crowley had the life, like, enjoyed it for a little bit, then depressed him towards the end, he don't want to be king of hell anymore. And now his mom took over as queen of hell, so, kind of ironic, right? So anyway, uh, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of that return, uh, definitely sheep in her death. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, subscribe for more awesome Smash content. Till next time, as always, no chick click moments.